So I decided I needed to update my softbox and my lighting a bit. Now, just so you know, I'm using the SL60W by Godox and I'm using one of their proprietary kind of inflatable soft boxes, but I wanted to do an upgrade. I wanted to, I wanted to upgrade. So I got this thing right here. Now this is the Angler boom box for Bowens mount. It's 36 inches is the BB36DB. And we're gonna take a look at it and we're gonna put it on this light to see if there's any changes. Um, so let's open this sucker. All right, right out of the box, you get this, oof. Right out, okay. Right out of the box, you get this nice bag. It says Angler on it. You can see right there, it has little, uh, there we go. Let's open this bad boy. Now, 36 inches, I'm in a basement, as you can tell. 36 inches might be a little large. Oh, here's the diffuser plate or reflector plate right here. That comes in some nice bubble wrap. Because everyone loves bubble wrap. You want to take a... It was a screw. I dropped, I dropped the screw. You can see the screw right there. Um, don't drop this when you open it. I don't know when you buy it. So here's a diffuser plate. Uh, looks like a normal uh, reflector plate. I keep calling it a diffuser plate, but it's a reflector plate. I'm like 60% sure. And um, here is the main event. Here is the soft box along with the diffuser fabric right there. And what's nice about this is that it's called a boom box. And what's nice about this is that it's supposed to operate kind of like an umbrella. You just have to push on it oh, and it opens up. See that? So there's not a million little like pins or I don't know what you want to call these, but little spokes you have to deal with. Have you ever gotten those soft boxes where you have like a million spokes and it like curls up and one comes out? It's the worst thing ever. So I looked at this. And it's actually really large. I'm gonna see if I can see that bad boy. That's pretty big. And actually, it's supposed to be super simple. I'm just supposed to just push in. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Push in. Boom! Oh my god, that is super simple. This is this is pretty good so far. All right. So and then we put our diffuser, reflector. Oh my god, our reflector plate. We put this right on here. That, my friends, is pretty much it. And that looks pretty good. Um, let's put the diffuser on it. And then we'll take a look. But first, let me talk about the inside. All right, so you have the, the reflection plate. You have the silver lining here. It feels really industrial. You have the Velcro right on the side of it. This is 36 inches. So this is like fairly large. Like this is pretty big, um, but it feels sturdy and it's not bad. And you can see the Bowens mount right behind it. That is aluminum or some kind of metal. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's actually um, pretty good. Let me just get my focus back. There it is. Oh my God, the EOS R is so good. I gotta do a review on the EOS R. If you wanna see that, let me know in the comments um, cause I wanna do it. But you can see how um, big the the bulb is or the, the bowl is on this thing. 36 inches is massive. So I'm really excited to see what this looks like on this instead of having this small box. I'm gonna show the box actually. Take a look. This is what I'm using right now. And it's fine, I've used it for years. I think it's great, it's collapsible, um, like 100% sure, but I just wanted an upgrade. I wanted something that's more filling because if you notice, there's a lot of shadows on my face. I guess you can call it, it's an art thing that I wanted to do, but whatever. All right, so now let's put the diffuser paper on this sucker. And the diffuser paper comes with these little hooks. I'm gonna see if I can show you that right there. These little hooks that goes on. So, oh, there's two, there's two. Okay, there's two. One for the inner, one for the outer, so. All right, so we have, oh my goodness. It's so, this is like the third day of a heat wave and I decided to do this in my hot basement and I'm like sweating. All right, so, I wish this was a fan I was unboxing and not a softbox. So we have this on there, now we have the second uh, set of diffusing. Uh, let's do that now. All right, so this is, ew, ripped off. All right, so this is what it looks like with the two diffusers on here. I think it looks pretty good. It was so easy to assemble, which is really great, which I kind of am like super happy about. Um, there's one more thing. So why I bought this one is because it was $100 and it's really nice, obviously, but it also came with a grid, this honeycomb grid. 
uh, retails at 35 bucks, but got the whole thing for 100. And uh, I'm obviously not returning it anymore because I just bit into it. Um, and this goes inside of this panel. So it directs the light more. And I want that because I have this light on me, but I want better light. So I thought the grid and this would work well together. And since it's larger, it will be a little softer. You know what I mean? So, all right, folks. So now we have the grid. We have the two diffusers. We have our nice boom box by angler it is an umbrella type of mechanism the only thing left to do is replace this soft box with this soft box so i'll see you in uh in like a second or two i'll be right back so wait hold on before before i do this i just want you to look at me right now notice the light and how it's falling off my face from what i'm using right now so i'm gonna take a still of this And then I'm gonna switch it now so we can put a side by side, all right? So we can see if this looks any better or not. Let's do it now. All right, so the first thing you might notice is that this is a lot darker than what it was. I have to adjust the settings on my light because this is eating up a lot of light. Now that goes to show you how much this uh, cheaper softbox, how much light it let through because I have my light, my SL60W, my Godox SL60W on the lowest setting because that softbox just let in so much light so i didn't want it to blow out but now i'm going to change it because we have the angler on and let's see how much i have to change it hold on all right so i think this looks pretty much the same i'm gonna i'm gonna stop so we can do it side by side now just to let you know that i had to increase the light a lot i was at 10 percent with the godox and now I'm at 50% with the angler. So this does a pretty good job at eating up light and diffusing it. I could tell on like just my face alone, the roll off is a little better over here from the shadows. And it just overall looks like, I don't know, a little softer, I feel. So let me know, do you see a huge difference? I kind of, I don't want to take off the grid because I, I like the grid. I think it's doing its job, but let me know what you think in the comments. Do you prefer this? I'm gonna put this side by side up one more time. Check it out, this is the side by side. Left 10% light, uh, right 50%. Now I think I could go up one, I think I can go up like 10 more percent. You want, let's, let's do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it up. Hold on, give me a second. Wow, okay, so I think, I think, I think this is better. Okay, so 10%. So we went from 10% to 60%. So that's a 50% increase if my math is right. And I think it still looks really great. I think it does a good job. Um, I'm glad I purchased this again a hundred bucks for the light. I mean for the um, Hundred bucks from the boom box for the soft box uh, With the 35 <laughs> Again a hundred bucks for the soft box it includes that $35 grid so 135 you get it for a hundred bucks and uh, I think it's phenomenal. I, I think it's really good. I recommend it. I'm gonna put some links in the description below, um, including a link to the light that I'm using because this light uh, is only like 135 shipped from Amazon, about 125, maybe 115 from B&H picked up. It's a really good light. It's kind of like a sleeper light, but people are noticing it a lot. It's called the Godox SL60W. It's daylight. I think this works. Let me know in the comments. Do you like this one? Do you not like this one? Do you want to see more videos like this? I have a ton of video gear. I should just be doing video gear. I don't know, I don't know what else I'm doing over here. But um, I like it, Angler. All right, I'll see you later. Thanks, um, if you like this video, like it. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe. Uh, leave me some stuff in the comments. I'll read them, I always do. And uh, I'll see you next time. I really like this life. I do, I'm sold. I already bought it, so I'm not sold, but I, you, know, I, you get it. I'll see you next time, bye.